With your feet shoulder width apart, begin in a standing position. Initiate the roll down at your neck, tilting the jaw down, and take a large breath in and continue to roll down from the top of your spine all the way down to your lower back. And take another breath. And keeping the shoulders relaxed, curl the pubic bone up toward the ceiling and look toward your knees. Take another breath and curl from the pelvis and just elongate each vertebrae. Imagine that with every pull upwards, one vertebrae after the other is stacking up until again you're fully upright. And take another breath and we'll repeat that a few times. Remain in a standing position for the next movement. Now raise your arms up to your sides, over your head, with, leading with your thumbs. And lower your arms back down. Till they're out. And tilt, raising your left arm up and push your left foot into the floor and imagine that your ear is pointing toward the ceiling and raise your right arm with an inhale and lower your right arm with the exhale. Again, inhale, breathe and raise. And exhale, lower the arm. And inhale, breathe. And exhale, lower the arm. Again.
And last one, return to center. Bring both arms back down. With a big breath in, raise your arms and lower them halfway down and tilt with your right arm up. Same thing we did on the other side. Push your right foot into the floor. With a big inhale, raise your left arm. And with the exhale, lower the left arm. Keeping a nice stretch along the side of your body and that right ear is being drawn toward the ceiling. And last one, big breath in, raise the arm, and exhale, lower the arm, and bring yourself back straight up and down, and feel the difference on the sides of your body now, with this arm raise. With the next movement, we're going to grab a ball. I've used a ball that's a little larger than a tennis ball, and then I've wrapped it in a towel and put a little rubber band there. You don't need the rubber band. It's gonna stay there if it's wrapped in a towel. We won't be moving much. But place the towel ball on your sternum and just breathe and you can feel whichever arm position is comfortable. The important part of this is just feeling your chest melt over the ball with each inhale and exhale. Make sure each breath is as full as possible. Breathing in as much air as you can into your diaphragm and feeling the breath rise up into your rib cage and then exhaling until there's no more air left in you. Now with your breath, begin to gently shift your rib cage over the ball. You can go side to side, you can go up to down, you can do circles in one direction, or circles and then circles in the other direction, or you can even do a small figure eight with each breath. It's really up to you, whatever feels natural, you may feel free to do. Okay, you can now take out the ball and just lie back down with your forehead 
on the mat and breathe for a few moments. Just feel how there's a difference in your sternum now. And go ahead and push yourself up and back into a child's pose and just rest there and breathe. Now from child's pose, we're in the next movement. Curl up into cat and breathe in into cow and exhale into cat and fold your toes so that they're on the mat and push up into a downward facing dog. And with this downward facing dog, you want your spine to feel like it's dangling and straight and hanging from your pelvis. Now hold this just for as long as you need to or as long as you can and if you need any modifications you can use an exercise ball to support your body weight and just breathe and feel all that good circulation going the other way the weight coming off of your pelvic floor and unwinding in a different direction. We're still holding the position, but if you need to rest, simply bend your knees and rest on them in the four-point kneeling position and push yourself back up Okay, and back down we go into a cat cow. You want to breathe in and push your spine down toward the floor and exhale and feel your spine curving up toward the ceiling. Do that as many times as you like. Come back to a standing position around the middle of your mat, maybe a little toward the top. And with an inhale, raise your arms and raise your left knee and kick back into an airplane position and drop your left leg back into a lunge. Raise your arms and bring your body upright. Now with this lunge, we're going to drop down as far as is comfortable after we raise up. 
and just drop down slowly once and twice and we're going to use this movement just do little pulses of two and we're going to use this movement to gradually notice the elasticity in our body so as you increase the speed you'll feel like you're falling and catching yourself and springing back up and use the energy of the fall to spring back up toward the ceiling and lean forward bring arms to your sides and arms up and step into just a standing position again Now we're going to raise our right leg and our arms and kick out and bring our leg back into an airplane position and lower the right foot and bring the body upright and we'll do the other side. Just pulses of two slowly at first, lowering our lunge down and gradually increasing speed. to bounce with the elasticity of our fascia. And we'll do one more time. Step forward, bring the arms down, arms overhead, and breathe. 